Well, right now at six, the latest on several wildfires burning across East Tennessee. Every red dot you see here is a fire burning. Others have been contained or put out since yesterday. But of course, the big story this morning is in Sevierville and part of Gatlinburg, where hundreds have now had to evacuate their homes. We have live team coverage this morning. Abby Ham is in Sevierville for us. Raya Katane in Pigeon Forge and Mike here with how the weather is playing a really big role in fighting these fires. But we want to start with Abby and the very latest on what's happening in Sevier County. Abby, what can you tell us? Well, Heather, we've been live this morning at the Valley View Baptist Church, which is the staging location, the command center, as it's called, for all of the crews fighting these fires. And this information just in from a gentleman who is a firefighter who works for the Tennessee Department of Agriculture in their forestry division. Cody Buck says he was out fighting this blaze all night long, just got his first break. He said that he did save several buildings from fire overnight, but there were several that could not be saved, as you can see in this video, just into our newsroom. Right now, right behind where I'm standing, mountainsides and hills were on fire and sort of glowing. So the rain must have made a difference overnight, and Mr. Buck tells us it in fact did. He has noticed a clear difference in the flames. Um, as we mentioned earlier, 35 structures so far are reported as damaged or destroyed. I'm sure that number will be updated as the sun comes up here in Sevier County. As you know, the weather playing a big factor, the dry conditions, the wind, the rain though has tapered off for now for the most part. It was pretty steady though over the last hour. It is certainly a developing situation. People displaced from their homes. We don't have an exact tally at this point, but we do know that number is in the hundreds and we are going to continue to keep you updated live from Wares Valley coming up. All right, Abby, thank you very much. Of course, everyone looking to the forecast to see if we can get some kind of relief for all this. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, unfortunately, we didn't see a ton of rain, but and the rain is slowly coming to an end. Now, is it totally over for the day? More likely than not, yes, although the cold front is still far off to our west. This rain's way ahead of the frontal boundary, and as that front comes on through, it may spark a stray shower, but I'm not anticipating a whole lot. So again, unfortunately, the rain has now shifted its way out of Sevier County here uh, for the most part, moving its way out of Pigeon Forge. Uh, so we take you down to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area, and you can see just a quick little brief uh, bout of some steadier rain showers. It didn't last for very long, and now it's uh, on its way on out of here. And so back to our west, we are starting to see uh, maybe a couple of light showers over in parts of Morgan and Scott County, but heaviest rain that could have brought a little bit more relief to some of these uh, the fires and for the firefighters just unfortunately wasn't there. Uh, the wind, however, it's still gusty out there and the wind's still going to be breezy today as the winds shift from the southwest to the west as this frontal boundary moves on through. As the front comes through, we'll see an increased ri uh, not risk, but increased threat for higher wind gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour during the peak heating of the day. That would be between basically noon and four o'clock and then begin to relax overnight tonight. Live look there in Sevier County. We have uh, wet roads out there this morning. Current temperatures 50s and 60s through the day today. We'll be in the 60s uh, for the lunch hour with forecast highs today. Heather topping out in the low 70s. Your three day and future cast is next. All right, thank you, Mike. We now want to turn to Raya, who's live at a Pigeon Forge Community Center. Uh, Raya, a lot of people have had to leave their homes. You said you've seen a lot of people there. Yeah, Heather, the parking lot is full. I even stepped inside. We weren't able to take a camera, but there are quite a few people inside here as well. The Pigeon Forge Community Center here is actually the first emergency shelter that opened up in Sevier County yesterday once those fires started. And so some volunteers have been out here since around noon yesterday. I'm joined with uh, by Ken Curry from the American Red Cross, who's been a volunteer with the American Red Cross for many, many years. Uh, Ken, you got in a little bit later yesterday. Tell me around what time you got in and what what you've seen so far I was I was notified of what was going on and uh, I said I was available to be deployed if they needed me mm -hmm. and then the response I got was saying we're updating uh, they didn't know how or what was going on and then we had they've responded with our emergency trailer that has enough supplies for 50 cots and blankets and stuff to, to set up a shelter initial shelter but the shelter was wasn't opened here until we we can't automatically open the shelter. We have to be told and that's to go through the works of the, the emergency manager and the, everybody else. And uh, so uh, they just had an evacuation point here, mm -hmm. so we were able to 
give the people some snacks, get them warmed up, whatever, self-assuring words or whatever, let them know we're here for them. It's, uh, but unfortunately, you know, they, they were told they could bring their pets and we can't have pets in the shelter or whatever. And, and the building really wasn't ours until uh, quarter to one this morning we got a call saying open the shelter, open them, set, set up the cots and stuff. Um, a lot of people were already sleeping in their cars because their, they couldn't bring their pets in. They had their pets with them in the cars. Mm -hmm. But uh, the people that were here and the children and stuff, we try to you know, self-assure them and uh, give them a refreshments and stuff. Yeah. Definitely a scary situation for a lot of people about hundreds of people have come in here throughout the day yesterday and this morning we've seen a lot of people walking in and out this morning as well we'll continue checking in with you throughout the morning heather um for now people mm. here are just nervous they're hoping for more rain um and we'll see you know if that happens throughout the morning oh i can only imagine how they must be feeling raya thank you very much well, several schools are closed today because of the fire and the weather. Sevier and Blunt County schools are closed today because of the wildfires and weather damage. They say these closures are out of an abundance of caution. You can find a full list of the most up to date closures and evacuations scrolling right now at the bottom of your screen or online at WBIR.com. Right now, there are widespread power outages in Sevier County. This is the outage viewer from Sevier County Electric System. It's showing about 4,000 customers without power. The biggest clusters are around Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Townsend. Switching over to the KUB outage map, there are just under 13,000 customers without power. The big red spots you see are in the south and west sides of KUB's coverage area around Knox County.